Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Graham and today we're going to be talking about more Hot Toys Back to the Future announcements. These are going to be from Back to the Future 3. If you were with us last week, we just got Back to the Future reissues last week, so that's really exciting. But um, now, right out of the blue here, Hot Toys drops this bomb on us for Back to the Future 3, Marty McFly and Doc Brown, and they tease this DeLorean um, car again. So big, big news coming here. So let's start by taking a look at the pictures here. We're going to start with Marty McFly. We're going to talk about what my thoughts are, what I see in the um, in the figures, if I think I'm going to buy it and if I think you should buy it, and uh, we'll kind of go from there. So taking a look at Marty, um, they do have that base where it's the normal style base, but it's just got like an image printed on top of it. I am not a fan of those. To me, they just kind of look tacky and they don't really fit in the display and it kind of just takes away from the, the figure itself in my opinion. Here we have a one of the accessories it's the image of him and doc brown from the clock tower um clock looking at this photo of marty mcfly the head sculpt looks phenomenal going back to last week's announcement from back to the future those head sculpts looked kind of i don't know the the detail wasn't there they looked um kind of soft and these like that the head sculpt looks spot on i don't know if this is the same exact head sculpt that they're using for both figures but this marty looks awesome and I hope that the other figure also is going to be using this head sculpt because these pictures look way better than that one ever did so yeah that that's the first thing that jumps out to me I love the outfit the attention to detail here this is going to be unique because these are like western figures back to the future 3 took place you know back in the west and you, you know he kind of told everybody his name was Clint Eastwood so he has like that Clint Eastwood poncho there as well and then here also they tease the DeLorean from Back to the Future 3. So that's really cool. They did this in the other photos as well for Back to the Future. So it looks like we're going to be getting multiple DeLorean um, cars here as well. It has a lot of stuff going on. It's got the whitewash wheels. I do wish that they would come out with the one towards the end of the movie where they made it into more of the, um, the railroad car where it had the, the different wheels but this looks really cool too so hot toys is really giving us a lot of back to the future stuff here you know before it was like you had the two figures or a couple figures and you just had that but now they're like really expanding this so you can do a lot more with your back to the future collection so that's really cool marty's going to come with a lot of cool accessories one of them being the hoverboard here so that's a really cool add-on that you can get with this figure here we have the two figures together and they look great and I'm just I love the quality here in costume design the tailoring looks really good it looks really authentic um, the head sculpts look really good we'll get into Doc Brown in a little bit here but here's another shot of Marty on his base I love the poncho I love the little um, ends there the the fabric ends just the detail that goes into this the stitching as well you can see his holster it looks like he's gonna come with a revolver I do believe that the the hats are sculpted to the head and I don't think they're gonna come off I haven't seen any pictures where he's without the the hat either character I think it would have been cool if they did more of like a return uh, of the Jedi Luke Skywalker figure where the whole hair piece comes off the head so like if the hat was sculpted to the hair and then it would come off um, so that you could have them with and without the hat on or if the hat just came off would be cool But here too another cool accessory of the makeshift armor plate that he used to stop the bullet at the end of the movie Just another cool add-on for Marty here. He is just uh, without the poncho and you can see just the Craftsmanship in the coat the buttons the fake pockets the stitching everything looks super high quality and um, it just really authentic really unique that these are going to stand out on the shelf you know back to the future 3 is not my favorite of the three but i do think i like it better than the the second one i do think these will sell pretty good in the u.s i know back to the future is not as big in other countries but i do think this will be um good for the u.s here here you can see his belt um you know, it looks like it's it's probably not going to be rubber. It might be like a pleather or even a leather material. So that looks really nice. You got the bullets kind of running down it as well. Here he is sitting in the DeLorean. And he's got that, that walkie-talkie. And again, the head sculpt looks great. I love the expression on his face. It's not neutral, but it's not over the top. So that works for me. Going into Doc Brown here, we can see some of the accessories that he comes with. Going to come with that same base. Not as many hands. 
Um, but again, another outfit that looks really, really cool. It almost looks like a steampunk character. You know, he's got that like steampunk type rifle, and then he's got that western outfit going on. Uh, really cool figure here too. So the one, the figure that we got of Doc Brown released last week, he had the open mouth kind of shocked look. This is going to be more of like a neutral look, and I think it works well for this character. So, you know, I. If we went with the same look as before, you know, I think it would be a little bit boring. So here you have two of the same characters with different facial looks. Again, it would have been cool if the hat came off so you could kind of swap the head sculpts between the um, figures as well. But either way, the hair is sculpted. Paint application looks great. The expression I'm good with, you know, it's neutral, but I, I don't know. I kind of maybe do like the other one better just because that's like, it screams back to the future, Doc Brown, in my opinion. Um, but the rifle looks super detailed, super, super good paint applications. The wood grain looks awesome. It it looks like a, like a real rifle, like metal right there. The coat you can see is going to have wires running through it, so you're going to be able to, to sculpt that uh, or to pose that a little bit there. But again, they got the, the chains on his outfit, the, the buttons, the stitching looks great. The head sculpt looks good. Here he has like a, a plaid coat or checkered coat, which... You know, being that they come with all these clothing accessories, you're going to be able to put them in different poses as well and use different uh, outfits, so that's cool too. Looking at this picture, it looks like he's definitely going to have uh, a double bend in the elbow, so you're going to be able to pose him pretty easily. Um, if you can actually get this pose off, that would look super, super cool. Again, he's got that base that I'm not a big fan of. I'd rather it just be like a type of terrain. Um, or something like that, but it is what it is. It's not it's not a deal breaker or anything like that for me So I'd be curious to know what you guys think of these Are you gonna if you've pre-ordered the other two? Are you just gonna stick with those two or are you gonna add these two as well? I did pre-order the first two that were announced last week, but man, I am I'm not the huge Back to the Future fan not like a Back to the Future buff But I do really enjoy the movies and I would consider myself a typical fan and I am on the fence if I'm gonna add these as well because they're just so different. They're unique. They have uh, something about them that is going to stand out from all the other figures on the shelf because they're like a Western style and I don't have anything else like that. And I can't really think of a whole lot out there that looks like this as well. So, you know, here you got the revolver. It looks really cool. So the fact that they're giving you those two is just, uh, it's really exciting. Close up look here at Doc Brown head sculpt. The hair is sculpted, of course, but... Um, I think it looks really good. Just look at all the skin wrinkles and texture in there. I love this outfit here with the plaid coat. You know, he's got the bow tie going on, and I think these are gonna be uh, these are gonna be fun to have. So I again, let me know what you guys think of these. Are you gonna be pre-ordering these, or do you prefer more of the traditional Back to the Future figures? I'd be really interested to uh, to hear hear about that. Here again, they kind of tease the uh, DeLorean where it's more of the horse and carriage because uh, they obviously did run out of the plutonium so they were I think they hooked it up did they hook it up to horses or something like that but um, I remember that ran out of gas another great shot of them together these would be cool to pose together I think you got to get both if you're getting one of them the other one I could see if you just got Marty like the of the back to the future the first film I could see if you just got Marty but here I don't know to me I think you just need both. I, I could see getting one or the other for your traditional characters, but um, these I think you could definitely have to get both together. So I'm really excited about these figures. Let's just take one more look at both figures before we head out um, so you can kind of see everything that they come with. Again, I think the, uh, the head sculpts are top notch. Just look at Marty in the upper right of his section there. That, it looks like a photo of, of Michael J. Fox. It's crazy, so I can't get over that. Hope that the other Back to the Future head sculpts are just as good as that one right there. But Marty, love the outfit. Love uh, the poncho. He comes with the hoverboard, a bunch of hands, that makeshift bulletproof vest, the picture frame of him and Doc, along with a couple other things as well. Doc Brown comes with a great steampunk looking rifle that is gonna be awesome comes with the wooden car that what they use to kind of test their theory about the DeLorean they do come with those bases that I'm not a big fan of but hey I typically don't really pose my figures with the bases anyways so I'm not too worried about that he doesn't come with as many hands as Marty but uh, it is what it is I don't know what to say about that they both come with revolvers 
and um, I do believe that the hats will be sculpted to the head so that's kind of a bummer you won't be able to swap heads with the other figures but they look great let me know what you guys think of this video of these characters will you be pre-ordering them I think I'm going to so uh, we just gotta wait and see when the release date is and how much these guys are gonna cost so I uh, hope you guys like the video take care stay safe out there and we'll see you soon